Dennis McBride has been Chanate's friend for over 60 years. <laughs> Still has every little spirit that he had when he was young. <laughs> of course, we used to do a lot of playing when nobody was watching us. <laughs> and uh, we used to rope, you know, cut something out and go rope it, you know, just for fun of it. He was always a good cow hand. And all of those people from down there were good cow hands. They had to be. Because that's it was a livelihood. That's what they worked. They, that was a cowboy. That was it. That was their that was their job. Raised up, horseback. And that was the only work that they knew. And they were all good hands, real good hands. Chanate spends most of his time raising horses in a corral which he built next to his house. These days he prefers working with his own horses. The challenge just isn't there for him anymore. He told me that it got too disgusting for him. That uh, he'd go out to work on his other ranches, you know, and they'd have a bunch of cowboys that weren't worth a damn, you know, and and they didn't know what to do, and they'd lose the cattle, you know, and then it, it, it just did not it wasn't matching up to the quality of the cowboys that he was used to working with way back then. Since Chanata never married, he is the last in his line. In his case, the vaquero tradition will end with him. Most of my uncles and my grandparents are, have been vaqueros. My dad's a vaquero and my grandfather. My brothers, my parents, my the whole family, it's been a tradition in my family. All of my dad's side, I mean, that's all there are, they're vaqueros. Hebronville High School. Nearly every student here has had a vaquero in their family. I, li I like what my parents did. I like what my uncles, my family did. I'm, I'm proud of them because what I know, actually, they've taught me. My grandfather always told me a lot about them. That's when he told me, you know, never look down on them because, you know, that's, that's what they were brought up to do. They appreciate that, you know, they're proud of it. And you should be too because, you know, it's, it's in your blood. It's, in your, it's your heritage. I'm very proud of people that, like, I know of vaqueros or vaqueros because, I mean, not, not anybody could have, you know, do that. Like, it's, it, it is a hard job, and, like, I've heard so many stories that, I mean, I think of them, like, kind of like Superman. In the vocational sciences and technology class, a new generation of ranch worker is emerging. René Alarcón is caught between the new generation and the old. What they're teaching me here, it's more important because, I mean, like, when I grow up, when I graduate and I own my own ranch, I ain't going to be able to run it like the way my dad and my grandfather used to run it because it's going to be, like, hydraulics and science and all that stuff. So I'll probably use some of the methods that my grandfather and my father teach me, but most of it's going to be what I'm learning here that a ballast ration meets the animal's requirements. Oh, here it's, I mean, it, they teach you what you can do today. And when I go to a ranch, my, my dad and my grandfather teach me what they used to do back then. Erasmo Alarcón is René's father. I feel very proud because the Alarcón vaqueros are not going to disappear. It will continue for many years. I hope that it will continue for many years. It is the Alarcón legacy which continues on the ranches, and I'm very proud of that. My father, this is the work that he did, and I held on to it. That's all we've ever done. I never had a desire to do anything else because what I liked to do was ranch work, cattle work. To do ranch work is what I like. That's why I stay. My father is one of the oldest vaqueros that there is. I'm a vaquero also, but I can't say that I'm as much a vaquero as my father was. And René is not going to be the same as us. At 76, Wangche. René's grandfather is still known as a top vaquero. Just as Wangshe taught his son Erasmo, René looks to his grandfather to learn the vaquero skills. Well, he's just starting, just starting. I can't tell you something else, even though he's my grandson. He is starting. 
You have to be hard on him. If he's afraid, say don't be. Don't be so that he'll learn. Tomorrow, one day, you'll be a vaquero. He will be considered a vaquero. 